Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Taylor Lapilus, 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 versus Kali Taha, Kali Taha, Kali Taha, 13 wins, 4 losses, 1, 3, and 1 in his last five fights, getting a no contest against Bruno Silva in a fight that he dominated and beat up Bruno Silva. Tested positive for marijuana or something in that fight. Weird. And then lost to Ronnie Bastelos, and there was no thing there. And then Sergey Mo uh, Morozov, and that lost him that one. <clears throat> 29 years old, 5'5", five five with a 69 in three. Nice. Taylor, double impact, Lapolis, Lapolis from Frank, 30 years old, 5'6", 73 in three. 18 wins and three losses. Honestly, the biggest thing in this fight is the uh, the Marty Pena. He was 11 and all at that time. Uh, Pena was elbow and punches in round one. Just April 16th, Wilson Hayes won a decision. Marcos Bruna won a decision. Nate Manis sidekick TKO. Josh Hill, uh, decision split. He has never been finished. It's all been by decision. And also, wasn't in UFC back in 2015. He went 3-1 in UFC, losing against Eric Perez back in 2015. Again, seven years ago, he was 3-1. In the UFC when they let him go. Okay. And since then, has gone one, two, three, four, five, six, two, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Eight and one since leaving the UFC. His one loss is against Benny Lavalenti. Vision in that one. But eight and one. This is a really, really good fight. I mean, Again, it's awesome to see when people get cut early and then they come back. It, it's awesome. The big, big power, the thing that the question mark is, is Taylor Lopez, is can he take the power from Taha? The thing that we've seen Taha struggle with is pressure wrestling. That's been the biggest issue for Taha. Uh, getting taken down over and over and over and over. The guy is saying this is Taha's last one. You can't really lose three in a row. I have Lapris. I don't really see him doing that to Taha. I have Taha probably by the finish. But again, he has a really big power. We have seen Taha hurt before by punches, but I really, really like him on the field against a uh, like, fight like this, fighter like this. I think it's going to be a war, but I have Khalid Taha as they win. As always, guys, hit that subscribe button as far as you possibly can. You already know what it is. 